My guest this evening is Ruben Singh. He's the CEO of All Day PA. An entrepreneur is not necessarily somebody who's uh, just in the field of business. Uh, an entrepreneur is somebody that has a vision, um, has the ability to bring that vision to life and, uh, and to lead people um, to articulately um, present that vision to them. Like most people um, in business, um, as you go through um, the pains of growing a business, uh, there's always going to be you know, success and failure go hand in hand. We succeed on a small scale and we fail on a small scale every single day. Uh, entrepreneurs, um, when something, they're like um, mothers and fathers with their children. If anything excites the children, if it, you know, they will instantly, impulsively want it. Um, and that's the same with a business. You know, an entrepreneur, it's the, the business is like a child to, to, to him or is to me. And if you see something, you get excited. Um, sometimes those impulsive decisions in business um, can go right, but more often than not, they can go wrong. I always compare our businesses or all my businesses to, to cars. And in the early days, we just had the accelerator. There was no brakes. <laughs> um, I am still the accelerator. Um, I still look at growing and expanding and bringing our, our staff's visions uh, aligned with ours, uh, with mine. But you also need the brakes in the business. You also need the, the, the energy of youth um, and the experience of age. Every entrepreneur I met, the first thing they tell you about is um, how many businesses they failed in. Um, and I met um, a multi, multi-billionaire. Um, they, they, they call him the father of fiber optics. And he, he's proud, his opening speeches are is how much money, um, I think he had seven bankruptcies and lost billions for his investors who stuck with him. Uh, as an investor now as well, side by side to running our own businesses and uh, growing my organization. Um, I do serial investment, I invest in entrepreneurs. Uh, but the ones that I seem to have more of a, uh, a connection with are ones that have tried um, and, and failed and want to try again. But most of the times I've found there's been problems with businesses, it has been cash flow. And also it's, not be, it's been the recognition of that you've made a mistake. And you find that if you unravel a business that's in trouble, it always comes down to a decision which, before you say it, the entrepreneur themselves knows that was a wrong decision. Some of the, the, the times that I went through in business were extremely lonely because you lived in this opaque, in this opaque bubble where you didn't let anything or anyone in because you're, you're fearful that if you say to your, your staff or your suppliers or your customers or your investors or your banker that actually I've made a wrong decision. I have to say that I, I think that it was only very recently that I realized that you can never steal somebody's business. Um, we all know how to bake a cake. We all can get Jamie Oliver's book of recipe and try to make a pasta. But could me and you make it like he does? He gives you the ingredients. He gives you everything. But we can't make a pasta like him. Un unfortunately, a magic, isn't it? there is something you can't. And, uh, Entrepreneurs in Britain, more so the British culture, they don't want to share, they're scared. I mean, NDAs, for example, non-disclosure agreements. I mean, yes, they are needed sometimes, but if I was to sit down and explain everything we do in our business, how we do it, would somebody be able to do what we do? I'm Ruben Singh, I'm the CEO of Old APA, and I've been an entrepreneur now for about 20 odd years in business. What I've learned from my experiences is simply, um, have humility, uh, be humble, recognize your strengths, but more importantly, the strengths of others and your weaknesses. Um, have determination, have absolute determination um, to see through your, to your goal. Um, never get disheartened. Um, every day is a second chance and be sincere. Be sincere to yourself, be sincere to your vision, but more importantly to your staff, your uh, investors or uh, your customers and your suppliers. And more than anything else, think big. Uh, we're in a global village. Um, the world is uh, literally a click away. Uh, you can transact with anywhere from Beijing to Silicon Valley um, online. So think big, um, set high standards for yourself. Um, and don't think that 
owning or running a business or setting up a business is, is easy. It's going to be very difficult. Um, you will probably fail or you will fail more than you succeed. Failure is good. Accept failure. You learn more from failure than you do from success.